This test indirectly determines the tensile strength of hardened grouts. It's carried out on a cylindrical specimen that is tested on its site in diametric compression loading. Grouts used for the conservation of architectural surfaces are most of the time expected to fail due to tensile stresses. Therefore, their tensile strength is more important for their evaluation than their compressive strength. As accepted in the conservation field, the tensile strength of the cured injection grout should be similar to, but less than, the original plaster and substrate. For this test, we will need caliper with a resolution of 0.01 mm, 4 mil plastic sheet, 12 wooden strips, approximately 5 mm wide, 40 mm long, and 1 mm thick, Instron Universal Mechanical Testing Machine, or any mechanical testing equipment capable of compressive loading, tape, scissors, a tile saw, V-shaped spasmon holder for cutting. Cure the columns under sealed conditions between 21 and 25 degrees centigrade until the test date. Spasmons are tested after at least two months or preferably after six months of curing. First, sew the column perpendicular to its axis to obtain six cylindrical spasmons with a length to diameter ratio of two. This means the length of the spasmons are 44 millimeter. Next, extrude each specimen from the plastic tube by sewing the plastic tube covering the cylindrical specimen along the length without making any sew marks on the specimen while it is held and positioned using a V-shaped holder. In some cases, specimen can be removed by simply pushing with a finger from one end. Record the position of the specimen in the column and cover the specimens with a plastic sheet before testing to minimize drying. Then measure the length of each specimen and diameter to the nearest 0.1 millimeter using the caliper. Record the values on the data collection sheet. Test the specimens within one hour of being removed from the plastic tube. Keep the untested specimens covered with a plastic sheet during testing to minimize additional drying. Tape two wooden strips along the top and bottom sides of the specimen. Tape shouldn't go all the way around the sides of the specimen. Finally, place the specimen on its side into the mechanical testing machine and apply the compressive load through the wooden strips. All the specimens are tested at a constant loading rate of 0.05 MPa per second in compression. Record the braking load in newtons on the data collection sheet. Calculate the splitting tensile strength, F, in newtons per square millimeter using the following relationship, where capital F is the braking load in newtons, D is the specimen diameter, and L is the specimen length, both in millimeters. Finally, calculate the average splitting tensile strength using the results of six specimens obtained for each grout. Discard any individual result if the average and the individual result differ by more than 20%. The average splitting tensile strength should be obtained for at least three individual results. Otherwise, the test should be repeated.